What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. On my quest to uncover the community's rarest and most intriguing coasters, I've come across many rides in other countries, from bizarre and unheard of manufacturers to coasters that we straight up just don't know where they came from. But I've never seen anything like the coaster I'm about to highlight in today's video. With the first coming into production in the early 1980s, this compact single looper came from Anton Schwarzkopf and was often seen at traveling fairs around the world. But what is this peculiar attraction, and where did it come from? And more importantly, why don't some consider it a coaster? This is the story of Anton Schwarzkopf's Catapult. In 1957, Anton Schwarzkopf, president of Schwarzkopf, built his first attraction, the Deussen Spiral, that traveled around Germany with funfair showman Loffelhart. Then, in 1960, he took over his father's company, leading to the creation of his first full-scale steel roller coaster, the Wildcat, in 1964. Since that time, Schwarzkopf has produced 145 coasters literally all over the world, and continues to be a leading factor in the roller coaster community, despite their bankruptcy and end in the 1980s. That being said, right before they went out of business, five of the most unique and compact coasters ever seen hit the amusement industry in a last-ditch effort to potentially save their company. With a length of just over 300 feet and one single vertical loop, the Schwarzkopf catapult was sent through the world and began operating at a number of different theme parks and fairs. Interestingly enough, some people don't actually consider it a coaster. In fact, the entirety of the layout is actually powered by drive tires, with the exception of the top of the loop. But we can argue about that hot topic later. First, let me give you a history. And each coaster has an extensive backstory of its own, but for the sake of time, I'm only going to talk about a few of them. First, Catapult at Moray's Piers. Delivered to Norbert Witt in 1982, Moray's Piers Catapult opened for a few short years up until 1984, before being shipped off to the Netherlands. During its operation at that park, it was received positively by guests and proved well for the area, but it was absolutely plagued with technical issues. Because of the coaster's powered nature, enough electricity was a difficult thing to achieve, and in response, many drive tires became worn and faulty. So, it was shipped off to Finland before it eventually ended up back in Germany on a couple of fair tours. Similarly, many of the other ones that had been manufactured were experiencing the same problems, and hence were being tossed all over. The model following the prototype was hit particularly hard. It was delivered to German showman Edgar Arnox and Schmidt in 1980, and premiered at the Canister Waston Fair in Stuttgart. Afterward, it was sold to a showman in France and the ride was seen on the fair of Nancy for many years. During this time, little was known about its whereabouts and it almost seemed non-existent. However, after that, it was sold to Holland to the company Euromill BV that was run by three different people. That company then ran it in Holland for the 1987 season and to good acclaim. However, Euromill began struggling financially and sold the ride back to roller coaster manufacturer Preston and Barbary of Italy the following year. Barbary then had the ride in storage and for sale for nearly 10 years before its sale and relocation to Mirabellandia in 2006. It took that park three months to realize they didn't want it and shipped it off to Maraland in Oman, where it successfully operated for a number of years. It is now the only catapult left standing, though it is no longer in operation. As for the other three, one was delivered to Cecil Hoffman in France and is now in storage with Spanish showman Paco. The other was delivered to Heitmann and Altrog and went through the former Eastern Germany on fairs before being sold. Today, it is presently owned by Gerslauer and kept at an undisclosed lot somewhere near their facilities. And finally, the third was delivered to Goldseg Merkel in Muchchen. It went to the USA and after that came back to Europe to find a place at OK Corral in France. It then sold to Leon Snepp, who refurbished it and wanted to tour the Dutch and German fairs with it this season. The ride apparently isn't ready yet though, and appears might be having some technical difficulties, so that has been postponed. As a fun side note too, one of these four, one with blue track, white supports, and a grey base, appeared at a local fair in Bern, Switzerland in recent times. But we don't actually know which of the catapults it is. As of now, it's the only known one that is technically considered an operation, though it doesn't appear like it's running anytime soon. So with all that being said, what do you think of this model? Isn't there quite a weird history here? And I find it actually super interesting all these backstories. I thought it was super cool, and I would love to ride one eventually. Anyways though, that's just my take and history of a weird coaster that seems to have been forgotten, but is perhaps one of the most unique ever. Don't forget to comment a coaster you want to see highlighted next, and as always, it's been a pleasure creating new content for you guys. I'd also like to invite you to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content, 
and stay tuned for another video coming in a couple days. That should be pretty cool. Feel free to catch up with us on Instagram as well for those daily posts. We keep those coming all the time and they do do pretty well. But until then, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and we'll catch up with you all soon. See ya.